I wanted to talk today on something about my recent book uh, called The P Political Dynamics of American Education. This book has been in continuous publication since 1972 and updated numerous times and published by McCutcheon Press in Richmond, California. The book uh, covers all aspects of who controls our schools. It's a very complex topic and many people conclude that everybody and nobody's in charge of schools and, and our K-12 system in America. The book provides you with a complete overview of the federal, state, and local level. It looks at uh, every aspect of school politics, including elections, interest groups, school boards, school site politics that vary by different school sites. It has uh, several chapters uh, on state government and its growing role in education. It traces out the impact and politics of the judici judiciary and its decisions on education. And it also includes uh, an overview of uh, federal government policy, basically since the Johnson administration in 1964. Uh, the book uh, concludes with two chapters, one on the politics of charter schools and the second on uh, the politics of uh, No Child Left Behind and intergovernmental relations. It provides an overview conceptual framework called political systems analysis, which helps you organize all this data uh, into a perspective and a framework that will help you understand the dynamics of the education system. Dynamics means that the politics constantly changes as various laws and policies and actions and political interest groups arise, and it goes through the idea of a feedback cycle, which then leads to even more change. So I think it's a one-stop shopping for trying to find out about the political dynamics in American school politics, and uh, you could also look at the older editions for some of the focuses to get an historical view back to 1972 of the political dynamics of American education.